Hey, what's up guitar players? This is Jen and today we're going to start talking about the caged system. Now this is a very, very meaty subject. So we're going to take it really slow and I'm going to do several different videos around it. This is just the introduction to it. So don't think we're going to get through all of it in one video. Just the basic stuff to get you started. Now the cage system is a way that you can use to find the five different patterns that you can play for any scale all across the guitar. The nice thing about the guitar is once you get one shape, you have it all over the place. So for instance, you have this G, that's one shape. You do the exact same scale shape and you've got A and move it so on and so forth. So there's five of those. Now, what you need to know first, which is what this video is going to cover, are the octave shapes of the caged system. So we're going to start there. So caged, we're going to start with C. Now, think about your open position C chord here. And your octaves, which is what we're going to be paying attention to, are here, fifth string, third fret, and right here on the second string, first fret. This is very important to remember this octave shape. So first find your C chord, and then you have this octave shape from that. Now this is C, but if we move it up to say here, same octave shape, but we have an F. This is gonna be very important later on. Here's an E flat. But just remember, open position C. Now we have the A in caged, which is our A major here. The octaves are open fifth string, or you could think about your first finger holding down the fifth string in open, to third string, second fret. That's the second shape. So same thing, move that over, let's move it to here. This is C. Move it up here to the seventh fret. We have E. Now let's go to the G. Our octaves here are gonna be on the sixth string third fret. Then we have this open on the third string, and then first string, third fret. Another way that you're gonna play this is kind of like that when we're not doing it in open. So if we wanted to take this octave shape and move it to D, we would go to the 10th fret, Just like that. So that's the open position G octave shape. Now E, we have sixth string open, fourth string second fret, and first string open. This is our E octave shape. Now if we're gonna move that around, try to think about barring like so. So if we were gonna move it up here to B, or you could kind of see it, this one and this one, but know that they're all part of the E octave shape. The last one is going to be D. Here's our D, and we have open fourth string and second string third fret. So again, with these opens, try to envision placing your first finger on the open just to get the idea of how it would be when it's not open. So if we were going to move this one, we've got G here. Thank you. 
So let's go over those one more time, a little bit faster, but what I want you to do on your own is start to memorize all those shapes all across the neck so that you know, oh, I'm going here, that's my octave shape, that's coming from the C in caged, or oh, I'm here, ah, this is coming from, or this one as well, ah, that's coming from the E in caged. It's gonna be very important, but don't worry, if it's not making a ton of sense right away, for sure, just know that this is just, we're just laying the foundation and we're gonna build a great house <laughs> over it, but it, it might not look super pretty after this first video, but trust me, I'm gonna do some more videos on it and it'll start to make sense. So, what's the first one? We've got C. So think about that C chord, and you've got fifth string and second string. So remember, we can move that all over the place. Now, A. And what do we have here? We have fifth string and third string. So moving that up. Now G, so what's that one? We have sixth string, third string, first string. Moving that one up, that's a little bit tricky. Then E, and that's sixth string, fourth string, first string. Think about your bar chords for this one. And then E. And the last one is D. And that is fourth string and second string. And you can move that anywhere you want. So start there. Remember, C-A-G-E-D. I can even spell that, and I'm a horrible speller. Ask anybody. <laughs> so if I, can, if I can get that, I know you guys can. But remember, don't get super frustrated right off the top. Know that this is going to be a long process of understanding how this system works. It's going to take some time but you've got to start somewhere. So start with these octave shapes, and in the next videos, we'll talk about how we're going to apply it to the pentatonic, how we're going to apply it to the major scale and the minor scale, and we'll see if you want any other scales or anything with that. But I guarantee you it's going to help you see the neck so much better when you break it down to, oh, it's just these five shapes over and over and over again but we're starting at different points depending on what key we're in. So I would love to talk to you more about that because now I'm getting like super hyped up. I'm like, let's just go. Let's just make a 40 minute video on Caged. I really want to do that, but I'm not going to because that's just going to make you guys even more frustrated because <laughs> I would be frustrated if I had to listen to myself talk for 40 minutes, you know? But start here. We're going to do some more videos uh, around this, and I promise it'll, it'll make more sense. But memorize those octave shapes all across the neck. So decide on a key, find the octave shape, move it around, if that makes any sense. And then uh, we'll get going with the rest of it. So this is just part one, and uh, I hope it was somewhat helpful, maybe a touch confusing, but I promise It'll get better. It'll get a lot better. So, as always, this is a Patreon-supported video. I've got patrons that have been um, donating money to keeping these videos going so that I can do them on my own, and I do everything here by myself. I'm talking to myself. I edit these myself. I do a lot of things by myself. <laughs> and with my cat. Do I hang out with my cat a lot. Um, but it's all me. I do all of this um, on my own, and there are people that are supporting me 
to do that. So thank you so much. And if you're interested in finding out how to support, go to patreon.com and uh, look at me, Jen Tranny. That is my real name. Uh, I know people don't think that it is. I think it's a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's Italian. <laughs> I just got lucky with this last name. Um, and yeah, if anything, uh, definitely ask some questions about this, but know that there's so much more to talk about. So hopefully those will be addressed in the follow-up videos. But feel free to ask away if stuff comes up about the octave shapes. And I think that's it. I hope you're having a great day and continue to have a great week. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.